Brian Price could have pitched Johnny Cueto in the rubber game against the Cardinals and Adam Wainwright on Sunday. Instead, he went with Mike Leake, his team shut out. Cueto saved for tonight in L.A. Reds hoping to avoid falling into fourth place in the Central Division behind the Pirates. Boy, an interesting night in L.A. Uh, the Reds couldn't get a hit, couldn't get anything done against Ryu. He had a perfect game through seven. It ended up being four to nothing in the seventh before the Reds started to fight back. They got their first hit on a double from Todd Frazier in the eighth. He would score on a sack fly. They would load him. Billy Hamilton would knock two in, almost three in, but they held Skip Schumacher at third, would have scored. They never did score. Brandon Phillips struck out with the bases juice. They put two more on in the ninth. Devin Mezzarocco flew out to center. The Reds lose another one run game, four to three. Bengals get back to work tomorrow. Uh, three more weeks of organized team activities before they break for the summer. The pressure is on Andy Dalton, of course, to raise his game to the next level, which, as any true football geek knows, means the offensive line must raise the bar as well. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, this team is uh, one of few that's been in the playoffs three years in a row and, and uh, has had an opportunity to, to play a good game in advance. And, and we haven't done that. And uh, that has more to do with the people that are here than the people that aren't. And so we, we got to get, uh, one, get back to the playoffs, and two, when we get there, take advantage of that opportunity. And